Cardio-oncology is a new and growing field. Um, it's basically the integration of multidisciplinary care of our oncologic and cardiovascular patients. So a lot of the ther chemotherapeutics used to treat these various oncologic conditions are starting to develop or are being discovered to develop cardiovascular complications or adverse events. Some of the patients that I've taken care of include patients with, for example, metastatic breast cancer who may be on their last line of therapy. And, they, and these agents may be known to be cardiotoxic, so they see a cardiologist to try to maintain their regimen um, so that they at least have an option you know, to use in terms of their treatment. And there was a patient who I was able to you know, get her on goal-directed medical therapy from a cardiovascular standpoint. She was actually able to continue her um, therapy, you know, which for her will be lifelong, uh, without suffering really any cardiovascular complications, even though initially when she came to me in the first place, she had noticed some complications that we were able to successfully treat. When a patient is diagnosed with cancer, you know, there's a lot of things going on. It can be a very tough time in one's life. But I think one thing that, you know, we should also make both our patients and our care providers aware of are that there are adverse complications to some of these agents used and we should keep cardiovascular medicine in the front four of our mind because it is one of the most significant adverse effects of um, therapies used at this time. And with our success in treatment of cancer comes the next steps in our success of treating all the adverse events that come thereafter. So it's imp very important um, that patients see, you know, cardio-oncologists in particular, our field of interest, um, to ensure a good quality of life.